It opened its doors in 1915, and in 1922 started housing tuberculosis patients, most of which were children. Due to the fact that there was a massive influx of new patients, the hospital created a new separate wing called the Sunshine Village, which was expanded upon throughout its years of operation. It closed its doors in 2009, but it's not a simple story like that. This place has been home to death, sadness, and all kinds of pain, not due to illnesses caused on by viruses or parasites, but to the loss of people's minds, to the loss of people's hope. Despair ran through these halls more than the janitors did. And the fact is, they still are here today. Many people still believe that there are spirits that wander through the halls, closing doors, opening them, and still having lunch in their mess hall. We came here to explore and to bring back any piece of information or history that we can give to you. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank <laughs> you. 